Lucas Media. So I see, you know, Twitter and social media and the news is on fire. Former President Donald Trump showed, looked like he appears to have been shot at a at a rally. Now he says that his ear was was um, clipped by a bullet, but also somebody that was there was uh, unfortunately killed. And the sniper or whoever was shooting was neutralized per the uh, the government. Now President Biden came out and condemned it and said that all Secret Service federal agents are or federal powers are taking a look into this. You notice the feds, they about to check everything, who he was with, who the person who shot him or tried to, to kill him, who he was with, who he cool with, what they've been texting. And you know, this is sad, man. Wish this should never go to violence, even though that this isn't the first attempt on a assassinated to assassinate a president. You know, this country has been kind of, you know, they make it seem like this country is just now unstable. It's been unstable. Y'all know Lincoln was the first president to be assassinated. James Garfoot after that. McKinley after that. John F. Kennedy was the last one. But then uh, Teddy Roosevelt got wounded. Ronald Reagan got wounded. You know, clearly Donald Trump. They tried to take FDR's life back in the, I believe it was the 30s. And I, it was a couple more presidents as well where they were trying to. But, you know, either the Secret Service called them or... You know, it just didn't happen. But this is what happens when you take one of the most dangerous jobs. You know, you got a lot of people out there that hate you. It's stupid. You know, it shouldn't come to that. And, you know, why are you so afraid that you're going to try to take this man out? And they're saying that it was shots fired from two, three hundred yards. It was ex mil Had that been ex somebody that was ex-military? This is what I'm assuming. And on top of that, you know, like I said, somebody unfortunate that went there just lost their life, man. You know, that's why life is too short, but I'm personally glad that he wasn't assassinated. You know, it should it should never get to that in this country, you know, but we got some lunatics out there. But thank God the person was neutralized and more people wasn't innocent. People wasn't uh killed. You know, this is it's sad, man. You know, if you don't want the, if you don't like the man, just just go vote. Just go not vote him in office. I mean. I understand that, and I'm not saying it's Joe Biden who has something to do with it, but I understand that people are a little nervous because Joe Biden, you know, he's been fumbling a lot, but that should never, you should never want to plan to take out a civilian. You know what I mean? It ain't like Trump was a dictator like Stalin or, or Hitler or, you know, a Napoleon or none of these people, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all got to be more careful out there, but salute to the Secret Service for doing a job, you know, because we don't need nothing like this. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And tell me what y'all think.